Live, late breaking. Wish to new sunrise on CW18. Our coverage of Black History Month continues right after this quick break. We are talking to Professor about how the month came to be. This is the first day of Black History Month. It's a month that was first officially recognized in 1976 as a time to honor the accomplishments of black Americans. And that mission still stands today. And joining me now to talk about the history of the month is Dr. Eric Small from Rollins College. Dr. Small, great to see you. Oh, thank you for having me. It's my pleasure to be here. Yeah, and on this first day of black history, let's talk a little bit about the month and, and how Black History Month was created. So I think this is an excellent question because we all know about Black History Month. Mm -hmm but few of us know how it was actually created. Right. So a black educator, Mary Church Terrell, first asked the Washington, D.C. school district to recognize the birthday of Frederick Douglass and the contributions of Frederick Douglass to the United States and to the area of Washington, D.C. Yeah. A few years later, another black educator, Carter G. Woodson, went to one of the celebrations, and he thought it was a great idea. So he wanted to celebrate both the birthday of Frederick Douglass and the birthday of President Lincoln, because they're only two or three days apart. And so instead of having a Black History Day, which Mary Church Terrell suggested, he wanted a Black History Week. So for a while, the country celebrated Black History Week, and their birthdays are in February, so that's why February was chosen. Uh -huh. And then, as you mentioned, in 1976, President Gerald Ford recognized Black History Month, because other areas of the country was doing the celebration for more than just a week. And that's how we got Black History Month. And, and so... We, we see the, the growth of it and how it's become, as of 1976, a whole month. And, and there's really an importance to this being established way back then and still honored today. Absolutely. I think that's true. Um, partly because in the United States, we don't really have an education system that celebrates us all collectively and teach history collectively. So as a result of that, we ended up establishing months to celebrate Black History Month in February or Women's History Month in March or uh, Hispanic Heritage Month in September. So we ended up doing it piecemeal. So it right. tells us that because we don't do it as one big collective, we have to do it as piecemeal. Otherwise, students and families won't get the information that their ancestors contributed to the making of America. And, and is it getting that information that, that is your hope for what people take from this month? Oh, absolutely. I think there are two advantages to it. The first is we find that children get to see themselves represented in the country. Yeah. It helps them aspire to be great things. So we know, for example, with we're here in the state of Florida and we have NASA here. We know that there were black engineers that participated in getting John Glenn to circle the globe. Right. Right. Hidden Figures did an excellent job of telling this, that story. But then as a result of that, we got somebody like Mae Jameson being the first African-American female in space. We might not have gotten that had we not had Dorothy Vaughn, Mary Jackson, and Katherine Johnson participate in the space program with John Glenn. Yeah. And this is all part of what we see celebrate in Black History Month and the theme is African Americans and the arts and here in just about 30 seconds can you tell us sort of what that encompasses? So I think African American and the arts encompasses all of the arts. We've had great African Americans participate in theater, participate in painting, participate in music and then what we see all of that participation do is help shape what America has become over time. And so that's why I think it's important to celebrate the contribution of, of African Americans in the arts now. Yeah. Dr. Smalt, we appreciate you joining us today and really helping us understand better about this month and what we are all going to be part of and learn as we celebrate it in Central Florida. There are a lot of events going on. You can find that full list on our website, WESH.com. Thanks again for being here. Thank you for having me.